Okay, um, today I will be uh, studying chapter 3, and chapter 3 would be uh, very important. You will be learning more chemical, chemical equation, calculating reactant product, you will be um, going over the stoichiometry, and you will be learning fraction. Very exciting thing. Um, let's get started. So the contents I have this formula mass, mole concept, which you need to stoichiometry, and mass percentage from a formula, and then we'll be working on uh, empirical and molecular formula. The finally we'll be ended of the chapter with a limiting reagent, calculating a person yield from a reaction. First of all, molar mass, molecular mass, formula mass, these few words, um, we need to know the differences. First of all, molecular mass. How that sounds? What is it? Like the mass of a molecule. Mass of a molecule, exactly it is. Mass of a molecule. That means the mass of total atoms in the molecule. For instance, I have a molecule which is water. So this water molecule have H and O. So the mass of all atoms in the molecule, the total will be molecular mass. So if you count it, I do need 1.008, and two hydrogen I have in here, plus oxygen 60, right? Total will be 18. So this 18 would be molecular mass. And what do we do? It will molecule 18 atomic mass unit, A M U. And that we need to we can take the gram to calculate the mole, to calculate the molar mass. So let's go, what is the molar mass? And we also need to learn formula mass. What does formula mean? What do you equation? Formula, yes, formulas make the equation, that's true. So the, the formulas are the one what? This is the formula, right? Yes. This is also formula. You see? Formula of ions. You learn sulfate, SO4, right? Yes. Remember? The polyatomic ions? That's also a formula of ions. What is um, simply, um, so if you have simply Mg, which is magnesium, formula of magnesium. Or it also symbol of magnesium too. So, so formula could be could be uh, ions, molecules, could be any types of uh, uh, any types of molecule is the uh, formula. So it could be more compound. It could be other than compound. So let's see how we calculate um, molar mass or molecular mass. Molecular mass, we got a molecule calcium hydroxide, right? This molecule, we see calcium. If you look at the periodic table, we see calcium uh, is 40. This is the calcium in here. The top of the atom, there is a number, which is 20. So top number is called atomic number. And the below the symbol is called mass number, right? AMU, it's in the atomic mass unit. So AMU for calcium is 40.08. Uh, don't you see the big numbers here, 40.08 or blah, 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 wrong number, wrong numbers? So when you calculate uh, molecular mass, you can check um, two decimal. that's fine. So for instance, if you see the periodic table, you see 40.078. If you want to take two decimal, you take 40.08, not 78. Good. So that's what it is. Calcium, and then I got one calcium, so one times 40, we just you know, multiply as it is, and oxygen is 16, and 
times two, because these two subscript means two oxygen, two hydrogen. Then two times 16 is 32, right? And then hydrogen is two times 1.008, because uh, hydrogen is two in here. So in total, it is 74.09. This is the AMU. So this is the molecular mass. Then what is the molar mass? Molar mass is if we get this molecular mass instead of AMU, if we put it to gram, 74.10 74 gram is the molar mass of calcium hydroxide. So can you calculate this one? Methylamine. So for So for methylamine, um, I have a one carbon, three hydrogen, and one nitrogen, two hydrogen. So look at the mass in the periodic table, and we're going to be calculating for each of them, multiplying how many atoms in there. Anybody want to put it on the board for extra credit for quiz? Everybody do that, please. I want to see everybody practicing that uh, because the next section, next um, section would be calculating more. Then we need to know how to calculate mass of the molecule. In the attendance sheet, uh, could you guys please write your name, how many times you volunteered last time for extra credit? So I'll let them out with the quiz that we have. Is everybody doing that? Solving methylamine uh, molecular mass? You did it? Okay. You can keep it some other time. PowerPoint, all are posted. All notes are posted already.
Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it right. So significant figures. Wait, why is it two significant figures? It's 30. It's 31 point zero. Yeah, 31.0. Okay. AMU. So, we have a carbon, one carbon, one, one nitrogen, and five hydrogen, three plus two, total five hydrogen, multiply five to the mass of atomic, uh, mass of hydrogen atom, and then make it total, which is 31.060. Wait, why does it say two significant figures? Uh, so make it two six figure always. Um, oh, it's four six figure, right? Uh, actually, it's two decimals because the minimum decimal is here two, two decimal, two decimal, three decimal, right? So final answer you can keep two decimals, not two six figure. That is not correct. Okay. So, what is the mass of nitric acid, H and O3? Now you know how to calculate, right? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Let's move on. Just add them up. That is 63.018. Make it to, yes, this is the right one. Okay. Two decimal places. That would be the same thing earlier one. Okay. Percentage of composition. I will not be spending long time on them on that uh, because you already know how to do that. Um, it's add them up. For instance, you have lead chromate. So lead chromate, you calculate the mass. Now you calculate it. I looked at that. Everybody did correctly. So calculate the mass of lead chromate in the molecule you have, right? Mm -hmm. So if you get the mass of lead chromate, um, then you can calculate percentage of each atom in the molecule. So the formula is, for instance, you have a lead from it, mass, uh, we got 323.2. So lead CRO4, mass of lead from it is 323.2. Two, right? This is the mass of lead from it. It's a gram per mole gram per mole. And then the percentage of composition is how many composition you have, how many atoms you have in this molecule. One, two, and three, right? Mm -hmm. Three different atoms. It's not four. P, B is not a separate atom, right? Yeah. Because P, B together is a lead. Mm -hmm. So lead, um, so that would be the mass of so mass of lead over 323.2 times, <coughs> times 100%. So percent of lead equal to mass of lead over total mass of the molecule. Wait a minute, somewhat. So that's the percentage you calculate. You see? So if you get lead, which oh, okay. is lead mass is 207.2 okay. gram, and then that would be over total mass times 100%, which you get 64.11. So so um, in the same way, you can calculate the other two. For instance, if you are making chromium, so percent of chromium, CR, would be mass of chromium, you see? Mass of chromium, right? What is the mass of chromium? 51996. Second? 51. 51996. Okay. Then you get 2, that will be so over 323.2 times 100. Percent, right? 
That's what the, the chromium. If you get oxygen, that would be 16 for oxygen. 16 times 4, because there are 4 oxygen in here. Then you over 323.2 times. That's it, yeah. Right? Then you calculate that. And um, you can see that when you write 6400, let me ask you a question. Why they wrote 64.00 instead of simply 64? What is the goal for that? Because remember we talked that we try to maintain two decimal places for percentage and mass of a molecule or atoms. So that so instead of 16, you could you should you could write 16 point zero zero. Okay, then what is a mole? What is mole? Is it a shorter version of molecule? That it sounds like, right? Isn't it? Mole, molecule, isn't it sound like that? But it's not actually, right? That's the confusing part. Um, first hand, when you hear that, trying to read that, getting the, 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 the name of the mole, your first time it's going to click in your mind, oh, mole, yes, yeah, maybe molecule. Talking about, right? It's not. Mole um, is like a number. Okay, let me hear from, hear out from you guys. What is mole you concept you understand? You finish your business plan, right? You need it. Yes. So you, you should know by this time. What is mole as a definition? So it's like the amount of a substance. Amount of a substance. Any other idea? Ooh. Take time. <laughs> So, mole is nothing but a number. For instance, a dozen. What is dozen of egg means? Twelve, twelve eggs. eggs. Oh, all we all know that, right? Yeah. Yes. Exactly similar. Dozen of egg is twelve. Dozen of mole, something like a number. But this number is too big in a trillion figure. That's the difference is. So, let me write out the, the analogy. It will be easier to understand. Because so, one dozen of A equal to 12 A's, right? We know that. So, what if one mole of A would be, would be some number, exactly the same, right? What mole of A? Sounds funny, right? Okay. It's okay. So, it would be 6.022 times 10 to 23. You see? This number of egg, you know, one bowl of egg. Right? Okay. Now see, what if uh, I say dozen of sodium? Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Dozen, so, mole of sodium. One mole of sodium. Equal to 6.022. This number of sodium, right? That makes sense, easy now? Yeah. You see, if I would not be giving you the analogy, you will be thinking over and over and over until you watch the maybe video or, or reading the book and a lot of questions. Okay. So difference between dozen and mole is smaller number and bigger number, right? Mm -hmm. This is a very big number, right? Two hundred three zeros, you see? So we put it as a as an exponent to write to make it easy to write. So one more thing we need to know that dozen of egg, it has a mass, right? For instance, dozen of egg mass could be, for instance, 50 gram. We don't know. Suppose 50 gram. Because that's not sold by mass, right? It's sold by dozen. So uh, mole of egg could be a some number, right? How about mole of sodium? Could be some number. Okay. How about if you have a, instead of A, it would be one dozen of one dozen of uh, marker. Okay? One dozen of A. 
equal to 12 pin. Did you know that correctly? Mm -hmm. Yes. So tell me now, one dozen of egg and one dozen of pen, both mass is same, 50 gram? Mm -hmm. No. If egg is 50, the pen would be? Smaller. Smaller. Suppose 20 gram. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Try to look over the analogy I gave it to you. Mass, um, two things, two points in here. First point is, mass is different from substance to substance. Whatever the mass is not a, mass, not a factor, since it's topping the dozen, the number of items in there would be same number. No matter what is the mass of pen for 12, it's going to be 12, it's going to be a dozen, right? Mm -hmm. Egg is going to be a dozen of egg, even the heavier, right? Let's go back to the example. So like example of sodium um, is one mole of sodium is means that 23 gram, right? And what if I have a water? What if I have a, today you need um, methylamine, right? One mole of methylamine. You read that, right? What the mass he got? What the mass he got? Second? 31 point? Or 6 gram. Right? Yeah. So that means look at that. This is smaller, 23. This is bigger. Because of that, it coming from one um, molecule, that means one molecular or one formula. One formula mass is more or less, it doesn't matter, as long as this mass came from one formula, there will be one more. Even though mass is different, still there will be same number of same number of items you see so that means the summary is 23 grams of sodium has 6.022 10 to 23 number of sodium the, that means this also means that 31.06 gram methylamine has this number of methylamine right so that's how it goes so mole is just a number. How do you get mole from? From the this formula mass. Instead of AMU, we put it in gram. So that gram of a formula, we consider that number of that number of atom. If it is atom, molecule. If it is molecule. Now here you can say that here you can say that atom, right? But here you can say molecule. Because this, this is a molecule, it could be an ion, remember formula. Ion, molecule, or atom. So that would be molecule. So let me ask you two questions. Then you can ask me back some questions, okay, to make it more clear. So tell me how, um, if I have a <coughs> If I have a 46 gram of 46 gram of sodium, how many mole actually I have in there? <coughs> if I have a 46 gram of sodium, if I have a 23 gram of sodium, that's one mole. So 46 equal to two mole. How do you know? You just look at here, multiply by two. Okay. If I have a 46 gram of sodium, how many atom you have in there? This time, two, right? Yes. Very good. If I have a, uh, now you got the point. If you go other way, how much uh, <coughs> sodium you have in two mole of sodium? If I have a, you know, ask you a question. What is the mass in two mole of sodium? What is this, right? Yes. Question from you. Okay, no question? Okay, then let me put, make some question for you. I will be keeping one. I don't need to keep two, right? Okay. So calculate, calculate 
mass of t equal pi mole of water. Calculate mass of 2.3 mole of water. The, as the first question, I will be, will be working together. Next question, you will be doing by your own. Okay? Let's do that. So, this is, um, you just, you can simply put in your calculator if it's a multiple choice question, but we need to know how to work in a step by step using converting factor. And you learned it how to use converting factor, right? Yeah. In chapter one. Wonderful. So, 3.5 mole of water. Remember, what is step one, right? Doing converting factor uh, calculations. What the step one you do when you're doing converting factor calculations? Yes, you do that, yeah. Uh, then you do write whatever is given. And then multiply that with converting factor. What is converting factor in here? Mole to mass, right? So first thing we need to go, the, the mass of water. So Mass of water equal to one mole. So one mole of water equal to how many? 18. We did, we did uh, earlier, so I'm not writing again. So H2O means 18 gram. That means 18 gram of water equal to one mole. So the way we did earlier for chapter one, you remember that? So one mole of water over, 18, exactly, thank you, 18 grand, right? This is one way. What is the other way? You flip it. Yeah, 18 grand. Exactly, 18 gram over? One mole of water. 18 gram over? One mole of water. One mole of water, you can do either one. So, when you're done doing here, it's better you can write one in here, this looks better. So, your goal is to get, calculate the mass. So you have to align this converting um, equation by a converting factor as needed. The goal is, so you're going to be putting which one? You're going to be writing this one, mm -hmm. this part. Because this part, it is in the bottom, mole, bottom in the top. So you can cancel it out. Let me write out in the right place. So that would be um, 18 gram of water over one mole. One mole H2, thank you. Then you can take them out. Right? So then now you can mole cancel out. You get the value 3.5 times 18, times 18 grams of water. Shouldn't it be 3.5? You put 3.8. Oh, I put 3.8? Okay. It's 63. 63. 63. So 63. Is it 63? Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. That would be 630 actually. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. No, 630. 630. Yeah. So 2 thick figure. Yeah, 63 gram. That will be 63 gram of water. Okay? So we keep it in here. Uh, I'll be writing another, pro another question for you. Say, uh, can we do that? Convert. example for you here so you can solve in the space okay anybody 
No, you cannot write in here actually. Uh, you write only the space. Wait, let me write it over? No, no, you write on the empty space. You, yeah, you're right. So you have 21.5 gram carbon dioxide. Can you make it a little bit bigger space, bigger front, please? Because uh, bigger, font? bigger front, yeah. Yeah. bigger size. Just write bigger. Okay. Write bigger, yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna put you, you uh, my one, my one. She's good. Okay. Uh, Point one, okay, and the top would be one more, right? There you go, you got it. One more, cover the side. Okay, right after body, I'll point four, one, zero, one, four, eight. Yes. Okay, what